Hello, all my fellow Fitbitters. When I was thinking about doing this video, I thought, hmm, should I just stand? Should I sit? I'm used to working out and doing my videos on the rebounder. So I thought, oh, I'm doing this video for all I, you Fitbit addicts like myself. So I figured, well, why don't I just do a video on my rebounder? I can get my steps in, I can check how many steps I have, and I challenge all of you who clicked on the video that are sitting down to stand up. And as Carlos would say, how many steps can you get in five minutes? Well, I'm gonna challenge you and say, how many steps can you get during this video? So we will be all stepping together. I wanted to make this video for several reasons. And number one was I wanted to give a tribute to Carlos because Carlos is the one that started the best fit Fitbit group around and it's Fitbit Challenge Group. He started this group on Christmas Eve of last year. And he has grown so much, this group, where we have approximately 13,000 members. And the reason it's so successful is because of Carlos and all the administrators. Um, Carlos, gives everything he's got into this group. And he makes sure there's no drama, no negativity, nobody's being rude. He makes sure there's no talk of guns, there's no talk of violence. Um, and he picked all his administrators really well. We get along really, really well. And he is the head administrator. And even though he's the head administrator, he never makes decisions without conferring with all his other administrators. Um, he thinks of us as being important to the group. He gives us all respect. Carlos is the biggest motivator I know. And even though I haven't physically met you, Carlos, I've known you for almost two years. And you've done a lot for my life. You made a huge impact. You've made a huge impact on all our administrators. And I want our big group to know that Carlos has a wife, he's got children, he's got a job to support his wife and children. He needs to get his own steps in, he needs to keep himself motivated, but I'm telling you, he never ceases to amaze me how he's always thinking about this group. What ways can I challenge it? Which ways can I make it better? And we appreciate you so much, Carlos, for everything you've done. And coming from me, I have another thing to thank you for. I want to thank you for starting the rebounding group because it's unleashed inside of me a huge passion for my workouts and my rebounder. I've been working out for 41 years. And I've done a lot of things in my life. I'm a personal trainer. I know all about your muscles. I know everything that needs to be done. And I'm an endurance type person. And I have learned since I started doing these rebounding workouts 
that I have this huge creativity within me. And I've been doing these videos for seven weeks now. And I've seen a huge improvement in my physique and in my muscle tone, in my endurance. Um, my lower body has always been very strong um, over the years because I like to do like two hours of just on my legs. But my upper body was always the challenge. And I've come up with some very, very good workouts that work the upper body. And I wanted to address some of the women in the group that have gone through menopause, going through menopause. I know how that wrecks havoc on your body. Uh, I was all through menopause six months after I turned 50. And even though I was working out and trying to watch what I ate, I started getting the menopause, as they call it. And I really struggled with that. Um, and if you would know me personally, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a mom of 10. Yes, I've had 10 babies. My oldest is 41 and my youngest is 14. And I, I had my oldest at 18 and my youngest at 45, but in all the years when I was having babies, I always had to concentrate really hard after I had a baby and say, okay, I got to lose this, I got to lose that. And I would just cut back on my foods a little bit and really get the workouts in and I always had, you know, good results. And then when I went through menopause, things started to change. And one day I noticed, I got out of the shower, I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my gosh, I look like I just had a baby. So I had to really, really clean up my diet. I mean, eat clean, do all this kind of stuff, do all this kind of stuff. And um, try to get rid of 20 pounds. And I was successful, and and I continue to be successful. There's times I gain weight here and there, or whatever it may be. But I want the women out there to know that I have these workouts out here that will help you, <clears throat> and they're going to help you um, <clears throat> with the different issues you have with your body. And I know a lot about fitness. There's <clears throat> four things that are very, very, very important in fitness. And the first one is cardio. Now, <clears throat> we all like to get our steps in and we do our cardio. And in my videos, the majority of them do have cardio, but some of them don't. But even when they don't have cardio, and I'm just doing the moves there, um, <clears throat> there's a huge cardio effect in them. And the second thing is strength. Now strength um, is a big one and that we need to keep working on our strength, especially as we get older. And as women get older, um, we go through menopause, we don't have our hormones, and so what ends up happening? <clears throat> we don't have, we lose our bone density, um, <clears throat> we lose our estrogen, so we add more fat. So we need to keep our, our muscle strength up. The other one is flexibility. And as we get older, um, we lose our flexibility. We also lose the ability to balance. And that's why you see so many people who fall when they get older, they don't have their balance. Or you see people who have the lift chairs because they're not working their quadriceps, they can't pull themselves up. So all that is important. And the fourth one, of course, is your diet, which I know I hate to say this, but it's probably 85, 90% because 
I find even if I work out three hours a day, I do a couple hours of my endurance type workouts and I um, don't watch religiously what I'm eating, I still pack the pounds on. So, you know, if I'm eating like I'm supposed to by cleaning up my diet and everything, then I can keep the weight off and do everything that I need to do. And one thing I want to say about my workouts is because I'm an endurance type person, I do a lot of reps and I want you to know that there's a science behind my madness and all my workouts. I spend an hour to an hour and a half putting a workout together and I write it all down and then I move it all around. I want it to flow just a certain way and then I have to practice the video and after I practice it, I watch it and then I tweak it and then I do the final video. And after I do the final video, I have to edit it, add the music to it, and then upload it to YouTube. So each video takes a lot of time and effort, but it's so well worth it. Because with my workouts, even if I'm doing just lower body workout, or let's say I'm doing upper body, or I'm just doing core and I'm not doing total body, you're working your total body. And I like to put in things like sit backs and what I call stretch backs. And what those do is they work your flexibility in there while I'm doing the moves. But most of all, they, those moves, when I stretch back or sit back, really work deep into the muscle. And my main focus over the years has been my glute, my glutes. So when I do a workout, I work all three muscles in our glutes, the gluteus maximus, the gluteus minimus, and the gluteus medius. And I like a rounded type, but lift it up, I don't want it to sag. I'm coming into my, um, a milestone birthday this year. I'm gonna be 60 and uh, I just wanna stay in shape, still have the muscle tone and do what I need to do. And I highly recommend my workouts. And um, if some of you in the big group don't have a rebounder and you're interested in getting a rebounder, you can join the rebounder group and ask me questions or you can message me and all you women in the rebounding group i want to let you know just give it a try give it a try and i know there's some videos i have for 70 minutes and some of them i put together i'm like oh my gosh this video is going to be an hour and a half so then i cut it in half because i do the videos myself and um, I can just string a couple videos together. And with my workouts, you can also cut them in half. You can do half the video. If you have a 50 minute video, you can do 25 minutes. I break up each side each time I do it. I don't do one side for 25 minutes and another side for 25 minutes. So you could do 25 minutes and then the next time you do it, and in five minutes. And each time you do it, before you know it, you're gonna do the whole video. And you're gonna see a big improvement in all your muscle definition and, and your endurance. And that's how I've done it over the years. I started out with one program that killed me the first 20 minutes. And then I kept adding on 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. And before I knew it, I was doing two over two hours of that. So I wanna encourage everybody to try out the videos and I'm being a little selfish too because I'm making them for me too and that's all I've done exclusively the last seven weeks and if you take a look at my last few videos because I just did uploaded my 27th yesterday 
you will see the muscle definition I have in my arms, in my abs, and in my legs from doing these videos. So I want to thank Carlos again for all he's done. And I want to tell you, Carlos, that we so appreciate you. And we all love you. And we look up to you. All of us are all of us administrators do. And I want to thank you for all that you've done. And you've helped me so much. So I can't tell you how much this has pulled all my energy into, you know, doing these workouts and enjoying it. And then I feel good. Oh, I came up with this move and that move. And, and <clears throat> um, it's getting to the point in my life where we only have five boys at home and our youngest is going to start ninth grade and <clears throat> it won't be long and we'll be done with raising children. And <clears throat> by the time it's all, said and done will have 45 years of raising kids and then i'll be able to spend my time doing stuff that i like like this and i have to say that my husband always says that i work out like it's my job and i do do that i i don't know i love the endorphins i just love how i feel when i'm working out and i love how i feel post-workout after the workout <clears throat> and i also <clears throat> want to thank my Video fitness check-in buddies, um, Carb and Casey, who've done my <clears throat> videos and given me really nice feedback. And Danielle, who helped me with the YouTube stuff. I have learned a lot. I have learned so much in the last two months. And I don't want to forget about Barbara. She's my buddy administrator on the rebounding group. And I message her, message her, message her. And she's got to listen to all my stuff about my videos and all that and she's always always so sweet but i have one last thing carlos i know you don't have a a rebounder slash trampoline but i have a little challenge for you since you always challenge me you challenge everybody in the big group i have a challenge for you if you can get a rebounder not one outside because that would really be really too hard to do with my workouts. But if you can get a rebounder and have it, hmm, I, I like the 14 inch, I have 14 inches here. And I'm gonna challenge you to do one of my videos. The one that I want you to do is called Upper Body and Core One. Now, it'll work your whole body, but I have to tell you, when I did that video, whew, I got up the next morning and my whole entire core was so sore. I sat up and it was like, oh my gosh, I must have got hit by a Mack truck. This whole, all the way up in here was my core. Sitting up, I couldn't sneeze. If I sneezed, it was like, oh my gosh, no laughing. And I did do that video one and a half times because I had a little mess up in the filming, but I don't know what I did different because I usually might get a little sore in the core, but this was like, I've been hit. So, and I like to challenge all of you. If you want a good challenge, give that, that one video a try. Look at all my videos and I'm willing to help any of you out there. If you have any requests, I'll be more than happy to make a video. If you want help with your diet, with the rotation of the videos, which video should I use today? Which should I use tomorrow? Which, what rest day should I do? <clears throat> I can help you with all of that. So with that, I have one more thing to say. <clears throat> My motto has always been, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. And if you want to change, you have to challenge yourself. And you might be in, in a very uncomfortable zone 
And I get in those when I'm doing my videos, I get into that uncomfortable zone because I get really dry, I get thirsty. I, I am like, oh my gosh, and I'm thinking in my brain, okay, this is only 30 more minutes. I can do 30 more minutes. And I have to keep telling my brain, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's what it's all about in our fitness with if we wanna do 100K, um, if we wanna go for the next badge at 50K, you have to overcome your brain and say, cause the brain will say, you know, I think you've had enough, you better stop. And you're like, no, I gotta keep going. And so with that, I'm gonna say goodbye and we love you, Carlos. You are the best administrator and we love you. Thank you for what you've done.